nine. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max. These are three boxes of wine. These are the kind of the greatest deliveries that a person can get. And I got them all like around the same day. And so I thought, why don't I just open these on camera so you guys could see what it's like to be a wine club member. Uh, these are all from the Napa area. You guys know I love it there. And um, I'm just gonna just open these up on camera because it's very exciting to see what y'all get from the wine clubs. Oh yeah. This is from the Simi Winery. And Simi Winery is up in Sonoma. When you join this, you also get free tastings at their sister wineries, which is like, there's like five of them, which is awesome when you go up there. Cause you gotta pay for tastings usually, but if you're a member, they're free. <laughs> so, whoa, they sent chocolate. Cabernet chocolate truffle bar. Hello. That's gonna be awesome. And uh, then here you go. Three bottles of wine. We've got Simi Chardonnay. Hey. Simi Malbec. Yeah. And then a Simi Zin. Interesting. These are, th these are three kinds of wine that I don't usually drink because I usually go for Cabernet Sauvignon. But cool thing when you do wine clubs is that you can get sent things you don't normally try, but they are usually awesome. When you love a specific winery, you know like the quality is gonna be great. And it's also gorgeous up there. All right, this is from Hall. Hall was recently featured on The Bachelor, which was really fun. <laughs> Their date didn't go so well, but they had great wine at least. <laughs> Ah, a before picture of your wine, and that's kind of fun. <laughs> there it is. A before picture of your wine. Now, show us your after. I'll be glad to haul winery. You are gorgeous. Ah. Woo! They're bottles. Mm. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> As is this. <laughs> this winery specializes in Cabernet Sauvignon. Which, if you like bold wines, that's what you like. Cabernet Sauvignon. I kind of have them in order of, like, the most bold is here, and then it kind of goes down so far right here. Of course, white would <laughs> be the lightest. Oh my gosh, this one. Like, Max, you really drink all this? <laughs> Yeah. This one comes from the Silverado Vineyards. This is up in Napa as well. And uh, the Silverado Vineyards are actually in the Disney family. It was in the Diane Disney Miller family. And when I heard that there was a winery up in Napa that had a Disney connection, of course, I was like, oh my gosh, here you go. We've got a Malbec, look at that. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Diane uh, Miller and Ron Miller started the Silverado Vineyards. There's actually a poster up there um, from Ratatouille that has Ratatouille with wine in it and they've never used it. They couldn't use it because you can't have alcohol in Disney advertising. But there is two of them. One's there and one is at Pixar, so. Oh, this is cool. I love the name of this. It is called Fantasia. And this is inspired, it says, by the fantasy wines of Tuscany. Mm. Fantasia. It's actually how it's pronounced. I swear it says Fantasia is a blend. 55% Sangiovese and 45 Cabernet. I am very interested to try that, especially because of the name. Even if it's not Fantasia, I'll take a Fantasia. <laughs> and this, oh my gosh. Woo, Cab Franc. And finally, oh man, Cab Franc. Wait, is this the same? Mount George Vineyard Cab Franc. Yes, super cool. And the wonderful thing also is that when you get these, they do come with little pamphlets and whatnot, and they explain to you about the wines, like about this, Pinot like in style and flavor. This wine greets you with intense aromas of strawberries and a light earthiness. 
Flavors of vanilla, rhubarb, and coriander greet you with a creamy mouthfeel, rounding out this delicious selection. I can't wait to have it all. Oh. oh my gosh, okay. It's tough to get up to Napa. It's very, it's, it's, it's a big trip. It's very expensive up there, and that you could get them shipped to you um, at a discount is amazing. And you can enjoy them at home. And now look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine new ones. So that I can kind of enjoy throughout, you know, the next few months. Top notch quality. None of these companies are paying me for any of this. <laughs> I'm paying them to get this. So I think that if you love wine, you should look into doing something like this and rewarding yourself. Cheers. I'm gonna go reward myself and pour one of these. I don't know which one yet, but I'll let you know. I had to show you this because it's really interesting. So in the packaging with Hall, they give you this little thing here that you can put over your wine so you know when it's good to drink. So this one, tea bar tea, it says, enjoy 2017 to 2020. This one, North End says, enjoy 2018 to 2022. It'll never send you anything that you, you can't drink immediately, um, obviously, but like then there's this one down here. You've got things that enjoy 2030 plus. Wow, 2030 plus, what's up with those? I gotta try some of those. Wow, um, but this is really cool. I'm gonna put them on here so I know. I gotta drink it by 2022. <laughs> really neat. All right, guys, are you members of any wine clubs? Let me know. Let me know, because I'm always interested. Thanks for watching the uh, uh, adult side, Max. <laughs> like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day. I will. With this.